like what you see? Stay tuned to see how I took my stock Moxie Ivy Jungle Skates and made it into these beauties right here. Hey y'all, it's me, your girl Brianna Nakai, back again with another video. Today, this video is gonna be about me upgrading my new Moxie Ivy Jungle Skates. So what I'm going to be changing on my skates today is going to be the bearings, the wheels, the toe caps on my skates, as well as the laces. And I added this cute little skate decoration. So, I've already changed out one skate, so I'm basically going to change out the other skate because once you see one, you've basically seen the other one, so I don't really feel like I have to do a video changing out the two skates. So let's get started into the video. So these are my Moxie Ivy Jungle Skates. As you can see, I added a crown to my skate. This is a crown decor, shoelace decor. I added some wax laces. This is the toe cap of the skate. And obviously I shortened my toe stop and I added some luminous wheels that light up. And I also added some new bearings that were an A back seven or nine, but I will insert the information of the bearing inside of the video. The original bearings that came with the Moxie Skates were an ABEC 5. So before I get started with upgrading my skates, I'm going to bring this skate up to the camera to show you guys what it looked like before the upgrades or before the adjustments were made. So you guys can see what I originally got the skate and how it looked before I made the changes. So this is the Moxie Ivy Jungle Skate. This is how it comes. I did not make any adjustments to this skate at all. To even include adjusting the wheels by making them looser, unfortunately I ordered tools for the skate so that way I can make those adjustments to the wheels, but my tools did not arrive until yesterday. So that's why I wasn't able to make any adjustments to the skate, so everything is how it originally came from the factory itself. So the tools that I'm going to be using to make my adjustments on my skates are going to be this tool right here. I purchased this tool off of Amazon. Um, I, will, I will insert a screenshot of the tool that I ordered from Amazon as well as attach the link down below in the, in the description box. Another tool that I ordered was this. Because my Moxie Ivy Jungle Skates obviously did not come with a uh, crab tool or a Y3 tool. It didn't come with any tool at all. So I had to purchase these tools prior to me receiving the skates because I didn't have any to begin with. So I had to make do what I had to do. So I'm gonna start off by removing the toe stop so that way I can add on the toe guard to the skate. So basically how I removed the toe stop is I've already loosened the toe stop nut because it was super tight. So now I'm just gonna hold it in place with my fingers and then just unscrew. So once I detach the toe stop from my skate, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the toe cap and place it over the hole and making sure that it lines up. Then I'm gonna take the toe stop and attach it right back. This was actually an easier process on my first skate. So I'm not sure why I'm struggling with it right now. 
Maybe because it's on camera. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be screwing my toe stop completely or all the way in. Once I'm done screwing in my toe stop, I'm going to go ahead and tighten the toe stop nut. And for this process, you want to make sure that it is on super tight because you don't want to run the risk of your toe stop coming off when you're really in need of breaking. Okay, so that's on pretty tight. I can't turn or move my toe stop. The next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and undo my laces on my skates. Okay, so now that my skates are completely unlaced and free, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my lace decor attachment as well as my new laces. My laces are derby laces, they're wax laces. Um, I will insert in the video what length they are because one thing that I did notice with my first skate, the laces are much shorter than the original laces that came on the Moxie Ivy Jungle Skates. So luckily I'm not too upset about that because I don't really care to tie my skate up completely to the top. So I'm not really too worried about that, but I will be purchasing some longer laces, mainly because I'd rather have the longer lace just in case I need to tie my boot up to the very top. Um, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So I will be purchasing some um, longer wax derby laces in the future but today the laces are going to be shorter just want to let you know that now like i said i don't mind them being shorter laces so let's go ahead with that process so i have my shoelace decoration and then i have my wax derby laces so for this process there's a i want my crown to sit on top of the toe cap kind of like that so what I'm going to do first, I'm actually going to stick this through, start with that process. I have the shoelaces through the crown, then I'm actually going to go ahead and lace my boot up going from the top of my boot. I'm gonna shove my tongue deeper inside of the boot so that way it doesn't get in the way as I lace my boot. So as you can see, I have not stuck the laces through the toe guard yet because I really want my toe guard to be tight on my skates. So now that I have stuck the laces through the shoelace crown, I'm going to make sure that the laces are even. Once I make sure the laces are even, then we'll start lacing through the toe guard. All right, so my laces are now even. So now from this point, I'm going to go ahead and stick the laces through the toe guard.
And like I said, part of the reason why I'm um, lacing my toe caps or my toe guards after I already attached the crown decon is because I really want my toe guards to be underneath the crown. So in doing it this way will make sure or will ensure that it is underneath. And that's exactly what I did with my first skate. So you wanna do what you did with your first skate with your second skate. Right now I'm just making sure that it's straight. So my laces aren't even, so I'm gonna make sure they're even. So just bear with me one second. So now that we have that situated, we're gonna start lacing up the whole skate. I'm actually gonna fast forward this part because I mean, I don't think you guys really need to see me lace up my skates, but you know, you know, sometimes you do. Y'all, I don't know what's going on because my boots, my other boots did not come out like this. So I don't know if I'm just lacing it wrong or if I messed up somewhere. So let me just figure this out. And then we will go from there. So as you can see with the skates laced up, this is how much shoelace I have left. But as you can see, I can still wrap the shoelace around and still tie once I pull the skate tighter. So I'm not too worried about that. But if you are, then you might want to order some longer laces because obviously this is what I gotta work with. Or long story short, I could just go back to the laces that the skates came with but honestly I didn't really like this that lace but one thing that I did notice was that this setup with the pink wheels is actually really cute like I like it but I want my light up wheels to go on my skates so that's actually what I'm going to go ahead and do maybe later on I might get the black pearl wheels the, the black pearl luminous wheels or maybe like just the regular pearl luminous wheels to go on these skates so that way it can match the is it holographic i don't really know what it's called i think it's holographic crown that i have on my skates so now we're going to start by so now we're going to move on to taking off the wheels so i'm going to start off by using um my y tool One wheel and I'm just going to do two wheels at a time and I'm going to grab the luminous wheel and the bearings that I have the new bearings that I purchased to go inside of the wheel so the bearings that I purchased to go inside the wheel are the Bronson Speed Company raw bearings. This is how it looks. It comes in a little pack like this. I haven't opened this pack, so I'm gonna open it now. Being in the dental field, I should know better than to use my teeth to open this, but desperate times calls for desperate measures. And I'm gonna do what I wanna do. It's all fun and games until I chip my tooth or something. <laughs> so I went ahead and I just kind of like took one of the bearings because you need two bearings per wheel. Took one of the bearings and pit it 
um, in the center of the luminous skate wheel. And then I just press down on the skate. And there you go. The bearing is actually inside of the skate and it's flush with the inner portion of the wheel. That's better. Then you take one more bearing and you do the same thing. You just face down on your skate, hold your skate and just press down with the wheel. So now I have two bearings that are inside of my wheel and you can see the spin of the wheel. Go ahead and put the wheel back on the skate and just put your nut right back on the skate. And then you just proceed to the next wheel. Obviously, I have to tighten this nut because it's not um, it's not tight enough. I don't know if you can see this, but if you look really closely, I can literally move this skate wheel up and down. And it's not supposed to do that. Your skate should be able to move freely, but your skate should not move up and down. And that clicking that you hear is me moving my wheel up and down. Um, on the truck and it should not obviously be that way. If you can hear that clicking, then you need to tighten up your wheel. All right, so I have the rest of my wheels here. I'm gonna go ahead and just take them all out and finish putting the wheel on my skate. So inside of the luminous wheels, they have this little magnet this magnet basically is what is used to light up the wheel. As your wheel spins, the kinetic energy of the magnet keeps the wheel lit. So you never have to worry about the battery or the lighting of your luminous wheel dying out or burning out. And just like the other wheel, you're gonna place the bearing inside of the wheel. and press down. So one bearing, and now we have the other bearing. Do the same thing, press down. All right, go ahead and put the wheel back on the skate and place the nut back on the on the wheel, on top of the wheel, and then you just secure it in place. So what I normally do is I like tighten the wheel or tighten the nut to the tightest that it can go. And then as you can see, the wheel is not spinning as much. So then from that point, I then go back and I loosen it little by little. Let's see if I can get it a little bit looser. So as I loosen the wheels, I like to um, try to see if I can move the wheel up and down to see if I can hear that clicking sound to see if the wheel is too loose or not. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. But it's like a minor clicking sound. So I'm just gonna tighten it up just a little bit. All right.
This one just seems like really tight to me. So I just kind of like want to do it over. So now I'm gonna switch over to the other wheels on the other side and just do the same thing. upgrade on my moxie ivy jungle skates i have the once again the luminous black wheels i have an holographic shoelace crown and i have the stock moxie ivy jungle skate toe guards and now i'm going to do a mini skate with me so let's do this all right y'all so it's me and i'm back here with my new skates. Well, it's the same skates, just some new modifications. One thing that I can honestly say is these wheels feel really good. My skates are squeaking just a little bit. I think it's because everything is so new. One thing that I also noticed already is how tight I, I am able to get my skates officially because the stock laces, I'm not able to really get a nice grip to get my skates as tight. So these wax laces are amazing. I still, like I said, might look into getting some longer laces in the future, but as of right now, these are perfectly fine and they'll do for now. But I'm excited about my wheels. So I'm gonna let y'all see me skate a little bit. So these bearings are making it super easy for me to skate right now. So, and I'm definitely noticing 
a difference with my toe stops. I want to, I want to be able to use my toe stops, but they feel completely different now that I have made them shorter than what they originally were. Um, it was nice having longer toe, toe stops um, because obviously it didn't take much effort to stop. You just kind of like, you know, tilt your toe down and immediately you would stop and you would feel your toe stop. But now I have to like tilt my leg like all the ways down just to be able to use my toe stops. Which is fine because I'm, I'm a beginner but not, oops. <laughs> I'm a beginner, but not that much of a beginner. So it's funny how I mentioned that and then immediately, <laughs> I almost fall. But now it's not squeaking anymore. So, and like I said in my last video, it's snowing outside. That's why I'm unable to go in skate outside or outdoors so i am stuck to having to to skate inside and i'm just kind of like testing how fast my bearings are but they're so cute i'm loving my my upgrades oops <laughs> i want to see if i can do that Sexy walk. Let's see. I've been practicing it, but I don't. Hey, so it's not real sexy just yet, but it's getting there. So if you are practicing, um, trying to do different things in your skates, you might just need to make some minor upgrades to be able to do the things that you really want to do. Because, like I said, when my toe stop was a little bit longer, I actually wasn't able to do the sexy walk because every time I would try to uh, tilt my foot down to walk, like how you normally would walk, the toe stop would catch me, so I can never do it. But as you can see, I was able to do it. It wasn't sexy, but <laughs> I can get it sexy, but I was able to do it, so that makes me happy. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I was practicing my jumps before. I was practicing my jumps before I upgraded my skates and I was doing okay. I tried it just now, but y'all saw how that went. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn the lights off so you guys can see um, how the wheels are lighting up right now. They've been a little, they're now a little bit easier. Alright. Alright, y'all. So thank you for staying tuned in this video. Make sure you like. Ooh. <laughs> 
Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Everything that I showed you today will be in the description down below. A lot of what I purchased came from Etsy, so I will also be putting the links down below as well. And thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna try to see if I can do a, a turn. <laughs> that turn was kind of like crazy.